Welcome to the lecture 9 of remainders. In this lecture, we will discuss a concept known as cyclicity of remainders. And we will also see how we can find the remainders of composite index. We will discuss what is composite index in case you don't know it. So don't worry about that. So let us try to start this. Now, before we start this lecture, I invite you to join to our Telegram cat group. So you can join this group. I will put the link in the description. So this question says that what is the remainder when 4 raised power 78 is divided by 25? Now this power is big, right? So in the concept of cyclicity, what we do is we start from the lowest power and we go on increasing the power and we try to see if there is a pattern in remainders or not. Okay, so what I will do is let's say 4 raised power 1 divided by 25 and it gives us a remainder of this will give this will give me a remainder of 4, right? 4 raised power 2 divided by 25, 16. So remainder of 16. 4 raised power 3 divided by 25, remainder of 14. 4 raised power 4 divided by 25, remainder of 6. 4 raised power 5 divided by 25. Now 6 into 4, 24. So 24. Now what you can do is, can we rewrite 24 as minus 1 also in negative remainders, right? So it means that if I square this, if I square this, so I'll get 4 raised power 10 divided by 25 minus 1 square. So this will give me 1. So can I say that after a cycle of 10, after a cycle of 10, cycle of 10, my remainders will start repeating, right? My remainders will start repeating, right? They will start repeating themselves. So can we say that there is a cycle length of 10. So in order to find what is the remainder of 78th power of 4, can I find that which part of this cycle this 78 belongs to, right? So what I will do is 78 by the cycle length, if I divide this, then I will get a remainder of 8, right? So it means that this is equivalent to 4 raised power 8 by 25. So if I find what is the remainder of 4 raised power 8, I will get my answer. So what will be the remainder of 4 raised power 8? Now, what I can do is, can I rewrite 4 raised power 8 as 4 raised power square by 25? So 4 raised power 4 gives me a remainder of 6. So 6 square by 25, that will give me a 36 by 25, remainder of 11. So finally our answer is 11, right? Now you can find this 4 raised power 8 in many ways. You can take 4 raised power 2 and 4 raised power 6. Okay, 4 raised power 6 is not there. What you can do is you can take 4 raised power 3 and 4 raised power 5, right? So, my, so you can get 14 and minus 1, minus 14. But since this is negative remainder, so 25 minus 14, 11. So again, you will get your answer is 11, right? So you can solve it in many ways. The only thing is that you have to find the cycle. Uh, you can find the part of cycle which your power belongs to, and then you can manipulate, them, right? So I hope this is clear to you. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Okay, this question: four eight seven raised power one nine nine by five. Okay, so first I will do. I will divide this one. So four eighty seven by five remainder would be remainder would be two, right? So two raised power one nine nine by five remainder. Now again, same thing you can do, 2 raised power 1 divided by 5, remainder is 1. 2 raised power 2 divided by 5, remainder is minus 1. Now if I square this, so I will get 2 raised power 4 divided by 5, remainder is minus 1 square, that will be 1, right? It means that cycle length is of 4, right? Cycle length is of 4. Cycle length is equal to 4, fine. So 199 belongs to which part of the cycle? So 199 divided by cycle length, so 4. Remainder would be 4 into 4, 16, 39, 4, 9, 36. Okay, so 3. It means that this is equivalent to 2 raised power 3 by 5. Remainder. So 8 by 5, what would be the remainder? Obviously 3, right? So it means that the correct answer is 3. So I hope this is clear to you. Okay, now let's move on to the composite index. So what is composite index? So composite index is, let's say I have a base B. And I raise this to power p and I again raise this to power p. So this type, right? For example, this one, 32 raised power 32 raised power 32. So power of power, that generally means composite index, right? 
So how to solve this question? So very first thing that I will do is I will take first this one. So 32 by 7, the remainder would be 7 into 4, 28, 4, right? So 4 raised power 32 raised power 32 by 7. Fine. Now, how can we apply cyclicity concept here? So what I will do is I will convert this to a single power. So can I say, let, let you can assume this as any power. So let's say P, okay. So let's say this is 4 raised power P. P for power, okay, 4 raised power P by 7. Now, I will try to find a pattern here. So, 4 raised power 1 divided by 7 gives me a remainder of 4. 4 raised power 2 divided by 7 gives me a remainder of 16 by 7, that would be 2. 4 raised power 3 divided by 7 will give me a remainder of 1, okay. So, after a cycle of 3, this cycle is of only 3 length, right, cycle of 3. So, after a cycle length of 3, my remainders will start get repeating. It means that I will have to find that this power belongs to what, what part of my cycle, right? Whether it is equivalent to this one or the second power or the third power. So our question reduces to 32 raised power 32 divided by this cycle length 3. What is the remainder? So can I say that this is equivalent to 2 raised power 32 by 3, right? And what is 2? 2 is no, nothing but minus 1, right? 2 is nothing but minus 1 as compared to 3, right? So, we can convert this to negative remainder. Minus 1 raised power 32 by 3, the remainder would be 1, right? So, it means that, it means that this is equivalent to, this big power is equivalent to 4 raised power 1 divided by 7. And what is the remainder? 4, right? Let me write here. So, what I mean to say is 32 raised power 32 raised power 32 by 7. This is equivalent to finding 4 raised power 1 by 7. And what is the remainder here? 4, right? When you divide first power of 4 by 7, we are going to get a remainder of 4, right? So you can see how easy this question was once you converted this to a favorable pattern, right? Simply assume this as another variable, some power, and then you try to find the cyclicity of this power, right? Cyclicity of this remainder. So once you find that the cycle length is 3, you simply have to divide this power by 3 in order to find that which part of the cycle this power belongs to. And then it is very easy question, right? So let us look at one more example, this question actually. So what I will do is first I will convert this 7 by 5 to, so if I will divide 7 by 5, we will get remainder of 2, right? So 2 raised power 11 raised power 2, 22 by 5. What is the remainder? Now again, assume this has some power, let's say P. Now same process, 2 raised power 1 divided by 5, remainder is 2. 2 raised power 2 divided by 5, remainder is 4 divided by 5, that will be minus 1, right? If I square, so 2 raised power 4 divided by 5, remainder is 1. It means that cycle length is of 4. So, 11 raised power 22 divided by 4, what is the remainder? So, this is equivalent to 3 raised power 22 by 4, right? And this 3 is nothing but minus 1, so minus 1 raised power 22 by 4. What is the remainder? So, minus 1 raised power, even power. So, this will give me 1. So, 1 divided by 4, remainder will be 1. So, it means that this is equal, this is equivalent to this, this particular part is equivalent to this part, right? This 2 raised power 1 part. So, can I say that 7 raised power 11 raised power 22 divided by 5, this is, this is equivalent, finding remainder of this is equivalent to 2 raised power 1 divided, divided by 5, okay? 2 raised power 5 divided by 2 raised power 1 divided by 5. Okay. Now, what is the remainder of this part? This part remainder is 2, right? So, finally, our answer is 2. So, I hope you can see how easy this question is once you try to convert this to a favorable pattern of cyclicity. Once you find this cyclicity pattern, you can easily find all the questions, you can easily solve all such questions, right? Okay, so uh, I hope all these concepts are clear. Now I will have some practice questions for you. You can try on your own these questions. So the question is 2027 raised to power 31, 33 raised to power 11 divided by 5. What is the remainder? Okay, so please put your answer in the comment section. Please put your answer in the comment section. Also, if you have any query, any doubt regarding this particular topic, you can always put it in the comment section, right? We can have a discussion there. So thank you and again I invite you to join our Telegram CAD group. Please don't miss on this group. You will get the free PDFs there, right? And also all the lecture updates. So please thank you and if you want to support our channel, you can always support us by subscribing and also if you like our content, please 
recommend it to your friends right those who are preparing for mba exams whether it is cad jet snap iit iit cmat snap all the exams remainder topic is very important for them right so i will cover all these topics right currently i am doing number system then i will go to algebra then i will go to let's say arithmetic right so currently number system then algebra i have planned then i will go to arithmetic so i will cover all these topics first we will cover quant and then later we will see if we can cover other other topics also like english or uh, logical reasoning and all those right so thank you